The flip-flop circuit is still on my Heathkit trainer and I thought I'd show you before I tear that circuit down some things that I did to choose what would show that negative pulse when I trigger the flip-flop that negative pulse on the base of a transistor. Okay, I've got the digital meter hooked up and we want to take a look at the negative pulse when this flips over to here. And Okay, we got a minus two something that time. I'll try it again. Minus one. And the digital has a tough time with that. That's minus three. Not very consistent, but of course if I was setting voltages, uh, the digital meter would be the first thing that I would grab. Okay, now this analog meter has been set up to read negative voltages. Okay, now I'm going to that flipped over. Try it again. Okay. One more time. So that shows a nice negative pulse and consistent. Okay, now we're going to try the scope. Okay, now here comes the negative pulse. Set this up again. Here comes the negative pulse again. One more time, negative pulse. Oh, it looks pretty good and very consistent. Out of the three, the digital meter, the analog meter, and the oscilloscope, the oscilloscope is the most accurate, but I think the analog meter for a video gives the best results for showing the negative pulse. Okay, what we're going to do is demo that negative pulse and we need to get that other LED lit for this demonstration. Now when I trigger it again, we're going to get a negative pulse. Okay, let me flip that back. And then we'll get a negative pulse on this side. Of course we have a negative pulse on the other side, but I've only got it hooked up on that one side of the flip-flop. One more time. I think the analog meter does a pretty good job of showing the pulse. Here's how I did that, and this is the setup. Two video cameras, and the sound is recording on both cameras, which I'm going to use to sync up the videos in the video editor.
Pretty good job of showing the pulse. Now I group the two video clips together so when I move them around they'll stay in sync. In this clip, I'm determining when I want the top video to come into view, and then when it is in view, I click on it, and that allows me to resize that video and also position it on the screen where I want it. Yes, I did enhance the screens of the video cameras so you could see what they were pointed at in this picture. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and thanks for watching.